Hi guys, so I just wanted to draw our attention back to the Arden. Right? This is a development that has been a while in the making and now together with the launches of Lake Garden as well as Altura EC nearby, I think this is a time where this development is again coming up to the forefront. Right, And I want to encourage us, especially if you are focusing on Altura as an EC, right? why not bring your clients over to the other as well, uh, perhaps to some of the other recently launched developments as well, so that your clients can get a fair comparison, right? And let's say, for example, they are second timers and they are affected by the second timer quota. Then this is where the other could come in helpful as an alternative product for them to purchase without waiting for one month. And especially if demand is going to be very strong, uh, they might not even be able to get a second uh, chance to get a unit there out to run, right? So Arden is something that definitely provides an alternative for clients who are looking at EC, right? And other than the second timer quota, let's say, for example, you have clients looking at ECs as well, but they are affected by MSR. Once again, for MSR, there is a limit of about $1 million based on the max cap for the income eligibility for ECs. And therefore, if your clients are cash-strapped or CPF-strapped, then this is where having access to TDSR and a larger loan quantum could be helpful when they come into a private property such as the Arden. Right, so I, I think there are some highlights that I want to touch on. I want to touch on why the Arden right now I'll touch a little bit on some of the things that people are looking for, especially when you compare with some of the popular new launches in recent times, so that you have an idea what the buyers are keen on getting, right? And you can direct your buyers accordingly so that you can maximize your chance of closing with them as well. All right. So once again, I'll be covering why Arden. I'll be covering uh, some of the highlights people are looking for. And then I'll go into the floor plans, some of the floor plans at Arden, some of the focus unit types that you can look at as well. Okay. So once again, back to the Arden, right? Why is this so exciting? Right? Because for this particular development, we are still coming in at yesterday's price tag of 1,600XX. PSF, right? So if you look at any development in the OCR right now, they are all about 2,000 PSF already, which means that for the Arden, you are coming in at 15 to 20% discount versus the average price in an OCR development. So for a development where you're getting yesterday's price tag, are you getting yesterday's facilities, yesterday's convenience, or are you getting today's, right? You are getting today's convenience, right? If you look at the facilities, the amenities nearby, in terms of malls, you've got three big malls in the vicinity, 500 to 600 meter radius, whether it's the uh, Junction 10, right? Whether it is uh, Bukit Panjang Plaza or Hillian Mall, these are all developments. These are all malls that are immediately open already, right? Whether you're looking at Sheng Siong, Cold Storage, NTUC, right? These are all the supermarkets that you have in the vicinity already, right? So it comes to MRT, Bukit Panjang MRT, it's up and running, right? The LRT wise, Phoenix LRT station is just across the road. The Bukit Panjang LRT, of course, is nearby as well, right? So these are all up and running already. The integrated hub, you don't have to wait six, seven years for it. It is here, it is up, it is running. Okay, so you move in, you get to enjoy it immediately. Right? Makan itself, right, whether it's the food courts, whether it is the hawker centers or the coffee shops, you have them all. And in fact, you've got very popular food, good food nearby, right? Your koko mian, your uh, black color um, prawn noodles, right? Uh, personally, I like um, down at Hillian Mall, uh, they have got the uh, Penang food as well as the um, Sushi Express, They're very popular with kids. Right, so all these are already here. It's already up and running. Right, so for the Arden, once again, you are getting yesterday's price tag with today's convenience. I think that is a big win. Right, and if you're looking at the future, what else is there? Right, this is pretty much a mature estate. Right, but you do have upcoming things such as the Jurong Lake District. Right, that's something that is up and running. Um, and it is being enhanced. Is the tenders are in progress for 
the next phase to kickstart, right? Uh, I think uh, Lake Garden definitely has been selling uh, based on this story, right? So you have well positioned to take advantage of that because basically just down uh, Chochu Kang Road, um, Jurong Town Hall Road, you'll be at the Jurong Lake Gardens already, right? Uh, as well as the Jurong Lake District, right? And other than that, there, there's other upcoming things as well, such as the Tenga Estate. Tenga Estate is bringing along with it the uh, ACS, ACS primary school, right? I think that's something that is going to draw a lot of eyeballs into this area, right? And definitely the other is one of the developments, one of the first private developments nearby to take advantage of this, right? Uh, with all the schools coming in with the um, developments in the Drong Lake district, right? Um, Not to forget, even down the road, right? The beauty world transformation, you gotta take advantage of all of these transformations. And I think that's something that's very exciting, right? Um, And if you look at the recent EC transactions nearby, not just at Altura, now Altura hasn't transacted yet, right? But like at Copen Grand, for example, the highest transaction PSF was 1,500 PSF, which means that you have as little as about 168 PSF difference versus uh the the transaction over there for another three better unit right i think that is a very small pricing difference uh in fact i don't think we have seen such a small pricing difference since uh probably even the 2000s right so this is the smallest pricing difference that you can get uh if you look at altura ec if you are going for the deferred payment scheme uh, adding on a 3% premium to uh, the prices that have been quoted i think you'll be looking at around 1400 psf Right, so once again, the pricing difference is not huge, right? I think it's uh ten to fifteen percent, right? I think this is a very palatable difference, especially when you compare with um some of the other EC prices. If you look at it, uh, EC used to be thousand uh if it was uh thousand one PSF, right? The launches at that point was about thousand four, right? Now, if you're looking at a thousand six uh thousand five PSF for EC. Right, you are still coming in at about thousand six plus for a uh new development. Right, I think that is a very very small pricing gap. So if you have buyers who are who you may you may have concerns about if they're going for a second timer, uh priority or if they have MSR limitations. Right, I think the Arden will be a product that really fits in very well, especially if you look at the larger unit types here at the Arden. I think that's something that would appeal to buyers who are upgrading. Okay, so if you look at the Pricing versus ECs is definitely attractive. If you look at pricing versus the new launches nearby, I think it's also very attractive, right? So for the Arden, if you look at the three bedders, they are all above 1,000 square feet, right? Which means that uh, you wouldn't compare this with the typical development where maybe there's an 800 plus square feet or 900 plus square feet three bedder, right? But just for a bit of comparison's sake, I think one of the developments nearby, right, there are um, three better about 900 plus square feet. That is coming in from about 1.898 mil, so about 1.9 mil thereabouts. Lah. Right, so 1.9 mil versus what we are coming in from 1.688, right? That's around a 200k pricing difference, about 200k pricing difference, right? I think that's something that's very attractive. Uh, Relatively speaking, you you are coming in at uh in between price versus a new launch uh another new launch right as well as versus like the EC I think it's a very attractive entry price so I think the other is worth a look at right if you have clients especially if they are going around the whole route um uh, this weekend yeah bring your clients over to the other as well right so what what are buyers looking for today. Right, so I've been part of several of the best-selling launches, right, as well as some that perhaps didn't uh, move as quickly. Right, and I just want to share my thoughts on what are some of the key factors that made the developments that sell well sell well. Right, uh, I don't want to go into too much slides and comparisons for this portion, right, because. My purpose of this is not to upsell, downsell any particular development. It's per really just to share some of the things that I have noticed, right? So, for example, one of the things that I have noticed, right, is this. For three bedders, uh, there seems to be a preference for units that are above 900 square feet, right? So, if there are units that are <clears throat> 800 plus square feet, uh, these are actually very common nowadays, Um, but these seem to have less of a take-up rate at this point, 
right? Perhaps because uh, people want livability, right? You, you, you know how COVID has been, right? In the past, 800 plus square feet was a very sought after unit size, right? But with people looking at more mm, livable spaces, right? Uh, three bedders above 900 square feet, these seem to have very high take up rate for um, reserve residences, for example, all the three bedders were above 947 square feet. So, uh, these ones were the ones that were taken the quickest, right? There were one stack, uh, half a stack rather of, of units that were a bit smaller, the 800 plus square feet ones. Those took a bit more time to uh, transact, right? So definitely above 900 square feet, that's something that people want today, right? For the other, you're looking at 1,000 plus square feet, right? So I think this is designed for today's market. Next, if there are spaces that are provided, right? A lot of times, uh, buyers are looking for a bit of flexibility in the space. So when it comes to, um, let's say, for example, even a study area, right? If that study area is able to have flexibility, can be used as a work area, play area, hobby area, I think that's something that's pre preferred, right? So even at the reserve residences, I, I, I'm just coming back to it because it's a project that I have been involved in. Um, the three bedders and the four bedders, some of them, uh, quite a number of them, they include a space that is a flexible space, right? And this flexible space can be used as a hobby room or a study room or a guest room, right? So I think that's something that people are looking for. They are looking for something a bit different. They want space, uh, they want a space that could be used as perhaps a helper's area as well. Uh, and that's something that is a big a bonus uh, if you have in today's market. So developments that have tended not to sell so well in recent times, I noticed that they are a little bit further from the MRT station. It seems like in this current climate, a lot of people are looking for developments within five minutes walk of an MRT station. And that's what you have here at the Arden. Uh, for the Arden, I think it's about 500 meters to the um, Bukit Panjang MRT station. So it's about five minutes walk is downhill, right? So it's relatively quick. Uh, you can get there, right? And in fact, that will be along the park connector. It will be along the rail corridor as well. Right, so it's quite a nice walk, quite a uh, relaxing walk as well. Okay, uh, when it comes to two bedders, I think this is a very interesting uh, note that I have uh, noticed. Uh, in the past, one bedders used to be one of the most popular unit types. But in recent times, there has been, for one bedders, a lot of times it has moved towards a one plus study. Uh, Quantum has inched up quite a fair bit, right? And in terms of the units availability, one meters now is extremely limited. Usually it's about one stack, two stacks, uh, or very limited for the whole development, right? And therefore, what we have noticed instead, rather than the one bedders or the one plus studies, people have been going upwards towards the two bedders as their choice investment unit. Right. So, for example, if you look at some of the recent uh, one bedders in the vicinity, I think at Botany, they sold about 1.157 mil. Right. So, for the Arden, the two bedder actually comes in from about 1.148. Right. So, I think that means that you are getting a free upgrade to a two bedder, which is actually a very good value for your clients, um, especially if they were looking at one bedder quantum kind of units. Yeah. Uh, the two bedders at the other would make a lot of sense because uh, in terms of size-wise, um, they are very good sized, 657 square feet. Uh, they have the storage area, right? And they are actually at a very palatable quantum, right? So I think that's something that's very uh, easily digestible, right? And if you look at the two bedders, once they go beyond like 750 or 800 square feet, right? There seems to be a bit of resistance, perhaps due to the quantum that they're coming in at. Right, so 600 to 750 square feet seems to be a sweet spot uh, for two bedders in the current market. And that is also the size here at the Arden. Okay, so for four bedders, right, a lot of people have been looking at four bedders and this strong demand has meant that the four bedder occasionally has a higher PSF. I think we saw that at Pine Tree Hill as well, where some of the high floor four bedders, they went at about 2007 PSF, right? I, I think that that is something that is quite common in today's market. Uh, which means that by right, if the four bedders cost more at uh, the other, right, it's actually quite a fair uh, thing. Uh, but I think what we have also noticed is that the PSF for the four bedders is quite similar to the two bedders, which means that um, in terms of the, the price point, uh, it could be very strong value. Right, so I think these are some uh, things that people are looking for in today's market, right, that um, 
Arden is well positioned to help your clients to take advantage of. Right. So if you look at the site plan, right, um, for Arden, they have maximized the views as much as possible. You either have an open view, right, uh, which also is a greenery view, right, outwards towards the mature trees uh, facing uh, Trishkang Road, right. Uh, otherwise, you have a facility view or a pool view, right. I think that's quite a nice um, views generally, right. And some of the units even have panoramic views uh, facing out towards the landed estate as well, right. So I think views wise, quite a nice development, right. Uh, if you're looking at the how the development is laid out, right? Four bedders are on one side together with the two bedder. And then the three bedders on the opposite side with a two bedroom classic in between, right? So this is the same block layout for all three blocks. It's just uh, where, um, which orientation they might be and what they face towards, okay? Right, so in terms of the two bedder, I think this will be one of the units that uh, will be in uh, very sought after, right? Because these are priced to sell. Right, coming in from 1.15 mil or 1.148 to be exact, right? These units are very well designed, right? They have got a uh, foyer space, right? Which means that this space can be used for shoe racking, right? So really maximized space. Uh, it's a dumbbell style layout, which means it's highly efficient. It's got a household shelter, which can be used as a helper's area, can be used as a storeroom. And I think this is one of the very good designs. Uh, it's not overly compact, right? Uh, but it's still very livable. And I think that's very important because people who are coming here, uh, they want to live in a comfortable space. They're not looking at the smaller space necessarily. They like nature, right? And because they like nature, the bicycles, uh, they might have um, sports wear and all that. And they need a space like that, which the household shelter can provide, right? So I think this layout will be something that will be very worth pushing, right? Especially if you have investor type clients, uh, the two bedders will be very worth pushing, right? Uh, once it comes to the B2 layout, this is a two bed, two bath, right? Of course, this one will come with a typical style layout, right? Uh, it also has got an enclosed kitchen with gas stoves, right? And with that, right, full uh, ventilation, right, gas stove. I think this will be a layout that is very attractive for people who are looking for own state, right? And if you look at the master bedroom size, 13 square meters, 13 square meters was the size of the master bedroom found at Foret at Bukitima, three bedder, right? Of course, the two bedders had smaller size master bedrooms, right? So this shows you what kind of uh, bias the uh, Arden is going for. It's going for people who really want to stay here, live here, right? And therefore, the space is larger than usual, right? So together with that, the two um, bedrooms, right? We also have the household shelter. I think this household shelter will be a bit more squarish. Um, I think it will be a little bit more towards a storage area, right? But it's still a good space for um, storage. And, and I, I like how... Um, this layout is very well thought out. There's space enough for everything. It's a show flat layout as well. So definitely bring your clients over and see uh, how they can make full use of this space. Okay. So I think the three bedders, especially these will be things that are very attractive for your buyers if they are looking to upgrade, right? I think this will be one of the most attractively priced three bedders in the current market. Uh, the kitchen space particularly is something that is a bit of a hybrid solution. It gives you the feeling of an open kitchen while also being fully enclosable with gas stove, right? So I think there have been some developments where um, not all the three bedders have got gas stove or not all three bedders have got full ventilation in all the uh, bathrooms, for example, and the kitchen, right? But for other than that, something that is afforded to all the three bedders, right? Fully enclosable as well as natural ventilation, right? For the rooms themselves, they are all clustered together. Uh, it's a very private uh, style of doing it, right? It's like a windmill, right? And with this kind of design, right? This means that you get maximum views to all three sides, right? The rooms themselves are also quite generously spaced, right? Uh, with them being, with this not being a PPVC development, yeah? The walls are, of course, thinner and there's more internal space within the bedrooms as well. Right, so I think the, the bedroom size that there's very little objection that can be had. Uh, this is one of the largest uh three bedders in the market, thousand twelve square feet. Right, I think this is something that is worth pushing to your clients. Right, uh, just now I talked about flexible space as well, and that's something that you find at the three plus study, and for the three plus study, this will be found um 
in the study and guest room, right? This is very important because for the living area, you do have an option at a launch um, to choose to opt out from the wall being built, which means that you can potentially have a larger living area, right? So there's a bit of flexibility over here, whether you prefer like a larger landscape style living and uh, dining area, right? Or whether you choose to have the study and guest space, right? So I think this really brings um, to the forefront what I mentioned about uh, flexibility, Right. At Arden, there's a lot of flexibility how you want to design the space. Right? So when it comes to the four bedders, I think these are very efficiently designed four bedders. Right? 1,002 square feet, right? There is a flexibility in terms of space between bedroom two and bedroom three. Right. This is something you'll see at the Arden show flat itself in the four plus study, where they, where one of the walls has been removed, right? And you combine both bedroom two and bedroom three. Right. So that is a possibility if your buyers want to, right? Um, some developments, even when they're not prefab, the walls can't be removed, right? So because of that, there isn't this flexibility that's afforded to the buyers, right? But that's something that you have here at the Arden, right? There's a flexibility of how you want to lay out the rooms. There is still a household shelter. There is still a helper's bath. I think that's very important. Not everyone wants the helper or, or to have, uh, the, to use the same bath as the rest of the family. Right, so by having a helper's bath, I think that's something that's very helpful, right? And um, in terms of the kitchen space, I think it's very well laid out together with the fridge as well. Okay, so I think um, this layout will be something that's very attractive for people who are looking at uh four bedders, an entry level four four bedder, right? Uh, but for those who want a bit more space, this is where the thirteen eighty nine square feet show flat layout for the four plus study is also very attractive. Right. For the show flat layout, what they have done is to remove the wall between the study and the guest and the living to give a larger living area. Right. So this is an option that's open to the buyers. Right. Um, yeah, I'm sure you have seen the dining area can seat eight to ten people. Right. I think that's a huge highlight as well. Right. And together with the dry and wet kitchen space, there's a lot of flexibility. Uh, I like the store, how it's designed. Right. So store-wise, there's both the household shelter as well as the storage space. The storage space is the one square meter space that can be used for the things that um, you want to hide away. For example, the vacuum cleaner it can all be tucked away inside. Right, so that's for the front of house, right? In terms of the room space, 20 square meters for the master and walk-in closet. I think that's a very generous space, right? Uh, some of the CCR properties also have got a similar kind of space for uh, them master room or in fact they have, even have a smaller one right so I think space wise that's something that's very well planned at uh, the Arden right they have reduced the size of their balconies don't, don't forget right so in fact if you look at the typical style for the balcony right usually instead of 9 square meters it might be 15 square meters and with 15 square meters right instead of 1,389 square feet this will be coming in at about 1, 4, uh, 1, 4, 5, 3 maybe 1453 square feet, right? And it's just a balcony space that's different, right? So I think that this is a very well-designed layout, uh, something that's very worth considering for your buyers, right? So for the other, I think we need to come back to who the target buyers are, right? So for people who are upgrading, I think that's something that's very attractive, right? Uh, the four bidders could be something that's, that appeals to them, right? Four bidders and four plus study, right? So whether they are HDB upgraders, I think a lot of them are reaching MOP or have reached MOP, especially in the Chochukang area, maybe even the Bukit Batu area as well, right? These are people who are looking for properties in the same area, right? They might want to come in for the other, right? So that's one group that you can look at for the four bidders, right? Three bidders definitely for buyers who are looking at ECs also, right? First timers as well. Right, if they are looking at that, right, why not come over to the Arden? Right, they might find that this will be something that's suitable for them as well, uh, because this is something that could be ready, uh, in the next three four years, right, uh, and it doesn't have the MOP, uh, wait out period. It's just a three years SSD, right. So I think that could appeal to some people as well, and and it's worth pushing for the three bedders, uh, for investor clients, if they are looking at something that is a. Uh, investable quantum, 1.2 mil thereabouts, and they're looking at something that is um, that is more than a one bidder. I think this is where our two bidders really come to the forefront. I think it's something that's worth pushing as a product because in terms of the one bidders, uh, even at Botany, they have transacted at 1.15 mil already, right? So because they have transacted at these prices, why not upgrade to a two bidder? 
right, at the same price, right, and um, be a similar or, in fact, you'll be closer to the MRT station, right. So I think these are worth uh some highlights worth uh sharing with your clients for the Arden, right, and I hope that you can uh reach out to your clients, bring them over to the Arden as well, together with any of the other uh products that are available in the market. Right. I, I want to open your mind to more possibilities. And definitely, this is one of the products in the market that is worth pushing, that is worth looking at. All right. So once again, my name is Jeremy Tan. Thank you for watching this video right? and all the best.